An Ontario judge has sentenced a man who threw gravel at the Prime Minister to 90 days of house arrest and one year probation. No comment. Shane Marshall hurled stones at Justin Trudeau during a London, Ontario election stop in 2021. The 26-year-old had earlier apologized without naming the Prime Minister. The judge called Marshall's actions a manifestation of mob mentality. Well, police in Quebec may be ready to close the file on a 48-year-old cold case. It involves the disappearance and murder of a 16-year-old girl. DNA evidence left on her clothing has led investigators to a suspect south of the border with a long criminal record. CTV's Vanessa Lee has the story. This is where Quebec investigators are close to solving a murder that has haunted them for nearly half a century. A West Virginia cemetery 1,300 kilometers away. It was really a really special moment. Um, I've had thoughts for the family who had uh, been waiting for uh, nearly 48 years. Authorities exhumed the body of Franklin Romine after DNA evidence linked him to the death of 16-year-old Sharon Pryor. The teenager was supposed to meet friends at a Montreal pizzeria on March 29, 1975, but never showed up. Police later found her body in a field. She had been beaten and raped. The killing shook the community and eventually turned into one of Quebec's most high-profile cold cases. Police looked at more than 100 suspects but never made an arrest. They say new investigative techniques led them to Romine, an American who died seven years after the murder. He was fitting the description that the witness gave in 1975. He also had a very extensive criminal record of a violent crime, also for a sexual assault. Romine's family objected to the exhumation as Longueuil police requested a court order testifying the killer left his DNA on Pryor's clothing. To confirm uh, once and for all that he is the, uh, the killer uh, of Shannon Pryor. He only want to ease uh, the pain of the victim's family. It's hard to imagine Yvonne Pryor's pain. Here's my daughter. For decades, her life has been consumed by the search for answers. Amputation of my soul. That's all I can say. It was, when that happened with my daughter, it, uh, I just fell apart. Yvonne Pryor is now 85 years old. It's expected the case will be closed when lab results are back within the next couple of weeks. Vanessa Lee, CTV News, Montreal.